Hello everyone and welcome to a game called Sally Face. Anyway, I've never played this game before so I decided I'd actually get to it. It was just like the last time. Only this time I started in a hospital. Ew. What the... This is very... Gross. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is gonna be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. So are we not concerned that our face is all mangled? Oh, that's better. Can I go outside? I guess. Wait a minute. The phone wire is cut. Well, okay. Ooh, a key. Okay. Inventory. Cool. Okay. How do I open the door? Just let me out. What the? What is happening? Uh, so confused. Elemental P. M. Okay, so it's some sort of puzzle. D, so not P. I'm guessing it's probably a vowel. D O. D O H. D O G. Maybe it's this one because it kind of looks broken. D O F. Nope. I could do do, dog, doff, or do. I'm gonna try dog. Oh, I did it right. Okay. What are y'all looking at? Oh, a dog. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Whoa, there's a number up there. Six. I assume that'll be important somehow. Diane Fisher, beloved mother and wife. I don't... four. Six, four. I don't know if those numbers are important. It's locked. I hope I didn't miss anything. Oops. I have no idea what I'm doing. Did I mess something up? Dad, you're not my son. My son is not a murderer. What the? This is your fault? What is happening? Mom? Are you? Did I see a number? And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, it's an interesting dream. I wonder if I could have gotten a secret somehow by getting the code right. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Strange Neighbors, Episode 1 Look at me. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Okay, I will do that. Groceries. Just some stuff dad got from the store. Nothing important. Uh, I can't go over there. What's in here? The bathroom. Okay, pretty nice bathroom. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after. Hmm. 
wonder if that'll be important somehow. Leave. Sal's room. Dad's room. Can't do anything. Hey kiddo, decided to take a break from unpacking. That's not a bad idea, we've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think about this place? May not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud. But please give it a chance. School will start up in a couple weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be so lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. I miss Mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. See ya. Try not to get into too much trouble. Well, I can't get past you. Bye. Sal's room. I'm guessing that's me. Gizmo. I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. Yes, it must be. Whoa. I was wondering where that was. Cool. My gear boy looks like it needs new batteries, though. Okay, guess I need batteries. Okay, let's leave. Sal's place in 402. Okay, 401. No one's home. Could go that way, could go this way. Hmm, the elevator. Can I go... Four. Why can't I go this way? Hello. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram, I don't get paid enough to babysit. Who are you? I'm your... Oh, okay. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that? Okay. He's kind of rude. Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. Grumble, grumble. Dang. Why are you so mean? Don't need to be so rude. We can't go to B. So I guess I'll go to 5. Notice this floor is currently being renovated. Why is there always a floor being renovated? Can't go in. Can't go in. Can't go in. Oh. Which room was this? Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir. Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and a dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? Pretty sure he's tweaking. What the? Hmm, well that was odd. How about we don't just walk into mysterious rooms where homeless people hang out? I can leave. There's a bathroom. That's weird, the bathroom door is locked. I don't know why there are handprints, but let's go. 504, do not trust it. Okay, let's go to floor three. Oops, wrong. Oh wait, no, I did press the right one. Okay, can't just go that way. Someone's standing there. Oh, no one's home. Hey, oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, right? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take good care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Oh, you're nice. I like you. Okay, let's go to floor two. What do we got here? 202. No one's home. 201. I heard sounds in this room. Hmm, I guess no one's home. 
203. That one's home. 204. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. I wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Oh, hi. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the heck is on your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens and a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see? I collect many things. These things are like my family. So if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Uh, yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Sir, why don't you, like, change your socks and your clothes and everything? You don't have to look like a mess. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Hi, heavens to bet a sweet summer child. Have you never seen my glitter pony's rainbow spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, oh the ponies, don't even get me started. Mmm, yeah. Uh, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Okay. So? Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you, I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Be right back. Hmm. Angel, devil figurine. I cannot do anything else, bye. Okay, I'm going to floor one. Let's go. 102, no one is home. 101. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for a trick or treating, isn't it? Her stupid good for nothing kids, grumble grumble. Okay, 103, Addison. 104, no one is home. Oh dear, what a frightful, uh, pardon me, let's start over. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no. I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. Bye, Addison. Whoa. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out, that's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Bye. So long. Whatever, talk to everyone in this building. I'm out of here. I talked to everyone, now what? Hey, kiddo. No. What do I do? Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff. I'm sure this building is well over a hundred years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know. You're right. 
Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in life. Put your energy into that. Thanks, Lisa. So, do you know anything about what's going on in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically this gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations, too much sweets and scary movies if you ask me. See ya. See you around. Well, I guess she lives in the basement. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, vending machine. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. What? How can you not be? Laundry. Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not. Biohazard. A lot of supplies over here. Okay, let's go in the room. 1B. Ooh. Pretty nice. There's mom. Son. There's a door here, which is the bathroom. Whoa. Um, what was that? Well, nothing's over there. I'm just gonna pretend like nothing happened. Bathroom is kinda dark. Okay, let's get out of here. Keep out. Larry's room. Lisa's room. It's locked. Larry. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry. Your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Doors open. Wow. Whoa, nice mask. Yikes. It's a prosthetic. Oh, sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you like half no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Why does he need a prosthetic? Can't they do, like, some sort of transplant or whatever? Because I've seen people have their faces torn off. I mean, I haven't seen it personally. I just know that there's ways that they can reconstruct the face. Of course, it doesn't come out looking perfect, but it's still something, you know? Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the jerks couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Uh, that's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent-free with the maintenance gig. It's cool, though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. Eh. I do have my own clothing line, so... Haha, <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. I really don't like these kind of songs. It agitates my ears. I don't like loud sounds. Oh my. <laughs> anyway, what happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. That was some scary crap. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. 
Herman told me everything, you stupid jerk. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was, oh my. Okay, that's... Okay. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom, but I trust you. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. He is wearing gloves, so I don't think he got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough. Hmph. Change subject. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slots. He's a nice dude, just really strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him, I'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. See ya. Well, I guess I gotta go. What's this thing? That's a... Uh, it's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the heck did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some evidence to show that detective. Something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for a break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and... I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too, once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this, head to your room, and let me know when you're ready. Just press the shift button there to call me. Okay. Sally, my man, I'm right here, you big goof. Ooh, painting. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude, it's my passion. Well, I guess I'll go. Okay, I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into 403 right now. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Ooh, nobody's here. 404, no one's home. Okay, let's go in 403. Sneak in. Oh my gosh. He was... There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Well, you can definitely tell there's a struggle. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. There's pictures. Hmm. Ponies. There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we, we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. The ponies. Sanderson and Charlie both collected weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got the super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks. Okay, that was... That was uncalled for. Alright, alright. I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man's alley. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Haha. Uh -huh. Nah, I just watch too much TV. Let's do it. 
Sally face, my man, good luck. How do I... Okay, how do I know which one? The plastic baggie that I can use to grab the ponies. How do I grab it? I got in Charlie's room, but he won't let me near his stuff. Hmm, looks like you'll have to come up with another distraction. Any ideas? All I know about Charlie is that he likes to eat and hoard. Okay, I'll think of something. So is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Did Chuck put you up to this? No, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chuck? He's the big kid on three. Usually can't miss him, but anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one with my own eyes, you know? I guess so. Play that Sanity's Fall song again. Sure. Metalhead, listen to Sanity's Fall multiple times. Okay, can I get out of here? Well, she's still here, but the thing over here is clear. Hello. Hey. Whoa, um, hey. I'm Sal. I just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chug, uh, nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice meeting you, Chug. Can I go in this room? How did you get your nickname? Huh? What nickname? Uh, never mind. Do you think this building is haunted? Why? Did you see something too? Yeah, I think so. Knew it. I knew I'm not crazy, huh? So you've seen that old man? Old man? No. I think that's just some crazy homeless dude that sleeps on five sometimes. But I did see lots of stuff, man. Crazier stuff than just that old bum. Like things moving all by their own and weird noises and stuff, you know? I keep trying to tell everyone, but no one ever believes me. Well, I believe you. Aw, oh, thanks, Sally Face. Oh, I did see a girl once. Huh? A girl? I thought it was a homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. That's why I used my key to lock the bathroom shut tight. It's too scary. Wait, do you have a key to 504? Yep, found it on the ground. Let's go check it out together. No way, not going in there. Ghosts live in there. How about you let me borrow the key and I'll check to make sure it's safe? Can't just give you the key, but maybe you can trade me something for it. Wanna trade? If you let me borrow that key, I'd give you... A gear boy? I'll let you borrow my gear boy. Nah, I have one of them. I could take candy or money for the snack machine. Got anything like that? No, I don't, but I think I know where to find it. What about a walkie-talkie? Isn't that Larry's? I can't take that. Okay, so I need money. Maybe my dad will give me money. Oh, father. At least he's trying now. Not drowning himself in booze. Not totally giving up on life. On me. Hey, a quarter. Score. Well, there's alcohol on the floor, but... At least he's trying. Sort of. Maybe. Possibly. Quarter. Oh man, heck yes. Here, take it. Thank you. Let's go, 504. Okay, this room, bathroom. Is anyone in here? It's okay, I won't hurt you. I'm a friend. Ew. You are? Yeah, sure. My name is Sally Face. Your name is funny. You're not scared of me, Sally Face? No, of course not. Okay, that's good. Why do you have pigtails in your hair? That's for girls, silly. Huh. Whoever said that only girls can wear their hair in pigtails? I like pigs too. Never thought of that. You're funny, boy. Why were you crying before? Everyone always runs away from me when I try to talk to them. I get so lonely up here all alone. I can understand that. I get lonely sometimes too. Must be hard being by yourself. Well, I'm not really all alone. There are... Um... Hello? Little girl? Are you still here? Huh. Okay. She's gone. Hmm, I may have to use this for something, but I need something to mix with it. Old laxatives. Oh no, I don't want to go. Oh, it's just you. Hi, Chug. Chug, what are you doing up here? Asking myself that same question. I thought you were too scared of this room. I am, but you're gone for so long, I needed to check on you. You know? Make sure the ghosts didn't get you. Thanks, man. I'm okay. Nothing got me. Good, good. So I was thinking, maybe you keep that key. I don't like coming up here anyway. You seem more into it. Alright, I'll hold on to it. But you can borrow it anytime you want. Okay, deal. You wanna go? Whatever. Okay, now that he's out of the way. What the... 
Hey Chug. Hey Sally Face. Whatever. Do you have anything? Hey Lisa. Hey Saul. What's up? I met Larry. Oh wonderful. I'm glad you kids got to meet. Me too. It's good to have a friend again. Larry's a nice guy. I knew you two would get along. Do you need any help? Are you poking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? Well, I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind just wanders and I lose track of time. That's cool. I'm the same way. I could tell you're a creative type, just like my Larry. I'm glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about him. Why do you... What do you worry about? Oh, I shouldn't be bothering you with this stuff. Let's keep things positive. Wait, I don't want to hear it. Okay. Whatever. Hmm. Addison tea, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Thank you. Ooh, maybe I can mix it with something. Sleep aid. That will knock. Well, dang. Rude. Hopefully this was worth it. Well, I guess technically the guy could be a murderer. So I guess it's not too rude. Still. Can I put laxatives? Gross, don't have any use for this. Oh, I thought maybe I could put the laxatives in the tea. I wonder if I could have. Maybe. Never mind. Ooh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from. Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Ew. Sir? Ah, so tasty. So relaxing. Go to sleep. Use sleep aid with the tea. So I wonder if I could have used laxatives. Probably. Well, whatever. Oh, what'd I take? Got the toy. Score. Ooh, it's covered in blood. Nothing else is useful here. Just an old man's creepy pony collection. Okay. I got the toy. Alright, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is give it to the detective and it'll all be over. Hey, detective. I got the toy. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking to that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh, look, I appreciate you kids trying to help, I do. But unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room. How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors. You know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie and he showed me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well. A little detective in training, huh? Haha, <laughs> not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember, next time you come to us with this info, instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Didn't we literally do that and he told us, Oh, um, I'm gonna need you to find some evidence. And then we give you the evidence, and like, Um, you should leave it to the cops. It's like, well, maybe you should have done your job first. Yes, sir. You got it. I mean, a simple investigation, literally just following up with a witness statement, they would be able to see the toy with blood on it. Erm, we don't have any evidence for that. Yeah, that's why you're supposed to look for evidence and do your job. Ooh, they got lots of cool stuff. Addison Apartments, welcome home. I can leave. I cannot do anything here. Let's go. Hmm. What's happening? Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Whoa. They got him. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. I don't know. Well, I hope that guy is telling the truth. Bringing smiles to the dead. No one was around, so I looked into the back of the window of the van. Oh my gosh. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you are. Fifteen years old and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes, it must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. Whoa. Oh. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how does this make you feel? Oh my. Wow, okay. I'm not convinced it wasn't him. 
Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I've said, that guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. Seemed to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you are supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you. Unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. Oh my. I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. You might be the only one. Oh, okay. So I went to jail. Cool. And people think I'm a murderer for some reason. Charlie's Pony finished episode one. I really hope I didn't just get someone falsely accused. Because that would be not so good. But then why would he have... Whatever. Sal? Sally, where are you? Well, I'm gonna leave it here for now. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Sally Face. Honestly, I'm surprised that somehow I have the full game because I genuinely don't remember ever buying this game. I just looked in my list and somehow I had it, so there you go. Anyway, subscribe, hope you enjoyed, goodbye.